I'm Louise Valentine, a certified exercise physiologist and massage therapist here at Wave Street Wellness in Monterey, California. Today, we're going to show you some massage techniques that you can do at home for the bottom of your foot. This is an area that's especially important to address for endurance athletes with tight muscles or anyone who spends large amounts of time on their feet, such as nurses or teachers. We'll get started with a warm up. To start, we're just going to work and broaden the tissue. So move your thumbs away from one another as you work up from the heel bone all the way up to the base of your toes. For most of our strokes today, we're going to work from the bottom of your heel bone all the way up to the base of your toes because this mimics the structure of some of the muscles of the bottom of your foot as well as the plantar fascia. Also, we want to do a compression technique. So imagine that you're lifting the layers of muscles off one another because actually you do have three different layers of muscles on the bottom of your foot. So you want to work both superficially and deep. Again, follow that pattern from the heel bone up to the toes and work on the inside, middle, and outside of the foot. Also, you want to incorporate some stretching when you're working on your foot. So you just want to kind of wiggle your metatarsal bones away from one another. And you should feel the area start to loosen. Don't forget about your toes as you kind of stretch them away from one another. Just like so. Once you feel like the tissue started to loosen, you can get into some specific trigger point work. So again, we want to follow our pattern of working up from the heel bone all the way to the, to the toes. Another technique that's useful with trigger points or especially sore areas is to simply just compress and hold for 8 to 12 seconds. You want to start to feel a reduction in pain or like the muscles are loosening below your pressure. If they're not, you may be applying too much pressure, so go ahead and back off. Also, feel free to go to another tender area and come back to that area to give it a little bit of a rest. Some trigger points that are especially important to address are right here at the medial aspect of your heel bone. This is an area that gets especially inflamed and tight in people with a condition called plantar fasciitis. So you may want to spend some extra time here if this is an area that's bothering you. For those who are suffering from arthritis of the big toe or limited flexibility in this area, it's going to be important to work a muscle called adductor hallucis. You'll work along the base of your toes in this cross fiber friction stroke. This is also, again, especially important in athletes who need good flexibility and extension of their big toe. It's my goal here at Wave Street to not only make you feel great when you're in a massage session, but to also give you some tools such as corrective exercises that you can do at home in order to maximize your body's performance. Together, we can achieve a healthier you. I hope to see you in for a massage soon. Mm -hmm.